And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time. Let's go and lay down pedal show. My name is Gabor. <laughs> that was terrible. Yeah. Hey, welcome. I'm Alex, and this is the Past Effects Las Elastic Mattress. Yes. I was going to say the other one because you know this is based on the Electric Mistress. Yes, but it's the Elastic Mattress. Yes. You can past see, see what they've done there. And it was sent to us by Verly Past Effects. Hi, Verly. Thank Hello. you so much for sending it to us. Very, very fun. Uh, we're going to check out some sounds, but if you could please hit like and subscribe on the channel, give us a thumbs up and ding the notification bell. Yes. Comments, questions below. Please do, please do, please do. Oh, uh, and the setup today, before we get the sounds, is Mozatronics amp switchers first Andrew. in the chain, then a Moz, uh, what's it called? Cherry Tone. OTS Mini 20 from Cherry Tone. With a racing stripe. And uh, two notes to Peter Captor X doing the IRs I I for Cab Sim. Yes. It's That's a lot of words. Just there, blue and black and white, that, 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 that thing there. That, that, yeah. That, 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 that. Flange, flange time. <laughs> That's flange time. <laughs> it's uh, pretty much the same as the Electro Harmonics box. So past effects, what they kind of do is they look at effects from the past. It's all in the name. Yeah. Um, and I think it's a lot of stuff that's discontinued or there's newer versions that are not quite the same. Uh, and they do their kind of takes on it. So this is mm. based on a V2 Electro Harmonics uh, Elastic electric electric mistress. <laughs> I know it's the same. It's confusing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, elastic electric mistress, uh, which they don't do anymore. And if you put if you AB the old one, even with the nineties reissues, they sound completely different because they're different components. Yes. Um, also, backstory for Electro Harmonics. Is it his name? Bill. What's his name? Bill. But yeah, I think it is Bill. Whatever. I can't think of his name. Uh, no. C cigarette man. Cigar beard, man. Beard guy. Yeah. Uh, he he was always like super business first and tones like a byproduct of that so he'd buy whatever was available at the cheapest yeah, price yeah which kind of kind of came up with some you know with variations of batches of lots stuff, of variations for yeah. better or worse you know with cool variants and yeah so there wasn't a lot of consistency in components yeah. especially in the um days. yeah so. uh so this is based on a v2 which is i think the same version that um people like david gilmore and that use mm. and this is part of a collection of pedals actually that are all sort of looking at what David Gilmore used. This um, one, however, has a blend knob. Yes, and a bright switch. Bright switch. So uh, it has a. It's basically the same. So you've got uh, rate, range, and color. So it's basically your the rate of the flanger, uh, the depth of the flanger, and I guess color is what some people will call the feedback. So mm. It makes it more metallic, less metallic. You have a blend where you can get it all dry and all wet. Uh, and they also added a bright switch. So, uh, you, and you actually have an internal trim pot where you can say how much brightness you want with the bright switch. You also have an internal trim pot that uh, sets the volume where you can actually boost it as well. So it has a volume boost when you turn it on. We haven't touched it, it's whatever it came uh, set up to. You have the filter switch that switches between the LFO, which is, you can kind of see here on the, the green light that sort of flashes, which as you turn the rate up, flashes faster. And then the filter, which is again, because I think it was called a filter matrix originally. Oh, yeah. The uh, um, electric mistress. Um, you can set it to turn the LFO off, so it's a static flanger. Yep. Or, I guess a comb filter. Is that what you call sure, it? Sure, why not? To a certain degree. Cool. So let's start off on the normal uh, LFO setting with everything at 12 o'clock and see what's sound. Oh, and I should also mention, this is powered at 18 volts. Yes. So to be true to, somewhat true to the original, um, it's an 18 volt plug that you need to power it. Here we go. That's even the dog thought so. So here's a Warmoth Strat uh, into the aforementioned setup that sounds clean, suchly. <laughs>
need some reverbs. Do, 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 do we? Okay, we need some reverbs. Uh, so that's yes. a reverb from the from the from the the, oh. the, the Captor X. Um, it doesn't quite go to vibrato settings, but close. Yeah, close-ish. face with the effect eh? play some p90s this is my yamaha revstar standard rss02s <laughs> something like that <laughs> anyway um japanese model numbers right yeah uh where the rss the revstar standard yeah oh two and then these two pickups s i think for some burst i don't know <laughs> something like that uh so with lots of reverb Yes. Uh, and <laughs> no el elastic matricity. It sounds like this. Now we get into that filter matrix where it's a yep. static flanger and with the range knob you can actually find which sound which part of the it's like if you if you move the range knob that's kind of like the lfo <laughs> I like that sound. Super weird.
more resolve. <laughs> Let's resolve it over and over again. That's that's cool. I like that. It goes wacky and pretty. It goes very wacky. It does does bit 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 of both. Mm. Should we not try it? We've got I've got here on the floor. You can't see it, but I have a TDY, and you can watch a full video on the TDY, which is uh, here. I mean, yep. and that's uh, past effects take on the uh, what was it? Which one was that? The um, BK Butler, the tube driver. Oh yes, that's, that's right. it. That's why it's a TD. Tube uh, so without a mattress, unmattressed, um, it sounds like this. <laughs> You want more reverb? No, maybe a little, little, little less. to do because it's got graphite rods in there yeah <laughs> doesn't really work Cool, I like that metallic sound. That's pretty neat. Some echo. sound. Do you want to delay? Uh, sure. Let's have a go on Sire. Try exactly the same thing, but yep. instead of having a distortion in front of it, yep. let's go into the dirty channel of the amp, yep. which means the distortion is after it, just to hear the difference. Definitely more that metallic thing because it's been accentuated. Yeah. What 
What about distortion in front and after it? Oh, that's going to be tasty. Oh, yeah. Go back into just a clean amp. It's actually different. pretty cool. It was a good, cool sound, actually. try with this just slightly lower tuning so this is a parts guitar it's an old carbon which would be called Kiesel now of mine that I uh, put some um, what are they called Haven pickups Black. and I think they're called Omnia Haven Omnia pickups in there uh, and a Herod pickup big thank you to Jim at Deluxe Tone Guitars for helping put this all together and um, clean with still reverb, but less reverb, uh, and it's in C, uh, D standard tuning. I just want it lower tuning. <laughs> Sort of very kind of eighties kind of sound, but it's I mean yeah. Yeah. And you can do the old No copyrights here. But it's that's I mean that's what he used. It's a nice actually clean, just like that. Just a little bit of modulation. It's not super in your face. It sounds yeah. good. And he had a similar guitar. He had three humbuckers in his strap. Yeah. Spin Doctor's guy, yeah. I don't know much about him. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> cool, cool, cool. Cool pedal. Fun. I like it. I like it too. What do you guys think? We have, you've got one of the 90s reissues, yeah. electric mistresses. God, this is a tricky thing, the wrong one. Um, which I know is different to the original, but um, maybe see if we can even, Verley's got tons of vintage gear. Oh, yeah. Maybe we can borrow, borrow one of the oldie, yeah. woldie, onesie, onesies. <clears throat> um, yeah, it's a cool pedal. It's, it's, I'm not a massive flanger chorus guy, but that, uh, it's different. It has a slightly different vibe. It's one of those effects where it doesn't get in the way of your guitar playing. No. It's always, even wacky sounds, like they do go to some extremes, but even the, um, it just doesn't kind of get in the way. Yeah. But just that, with the, that, the brightness rolled off, just, just yeah. to play chords. <laughs> Yes. 
some slight shift. Yeah. Um, just yeah, for that on. little bit of modulation, it's it's yeah. it's not quite a core. It's not quite a flanger. It's a thing. It's yeah. A mattress. <clears throat> yeah. It's a mattress. <laughs> Hey, uh, thanks for checking it out with us. There's links below to Instagram, Facebook, and a podcast. Please check those out if you've got a minute. Yeah, we do do podcasts every once in a while. Yeah. Uh, big thank you once again to Verley at Past Effects for sending this out to us. Right, cool. um, and there'll be more pedals. And there's links. What's another um, Past Effects pedal? Uh, the Canberra. Oh, yeah. It's there. That. Yeah. Check it out. Hey, uh, thanks for hanging. We'll see you soon.